Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. In this week's edition of IG Macro Intelligence, we take a look at the momentum in gold and its impact on market sentiment. Some analysts say gold could be headed for a record high of $2,500 per ounce. Newmont Mining, Northern Star, Regis Resources and Evolution Mining could all benefit from higher gold prices. The price of gold has recently broken through $2,000 per ounce and continues to gather bullish momentum. The price of gold has been rising against a weaker US dollar as traders bet the Federal Reserve is done with its rate hiking cycle. This has sent bond yields lower, although the 10-year Treasury yields are struggling to extend declines below 4.5%. A steady decline in US bond yields could see the rally in gold gather momentum and some traders are even predicting new price records. IG's Tony Sycamore told Ausbiz that unless gold can break through the recent re resistance level around 2010 an ounce, there could be a rotation back towards $1,930 to $1,950 an ounce. Meanwhile, Vivek Da, commodities strategist at the Commonwealth Bank, points out that gold is trading above its actual real value due to the market's bullish view on rate cuts in June. And technical analyst Mark Newton from Funstrat wrote that he sees gold eventually breaching $2,500 given falling real rates, rising cycles and ongoing political conflict. Well, gold has a reputation of a safe haven store of value, and more importantly, it's seen as low risk and a long-term investment. However, some crypto bulls are touting Bitcoin as a safer hedge. Kathy Wood from ARK Investment has famously claimed she sees Bitcoin as the digital gold and sees no counterparty risk to holding it. She's told Bloomberg she prefers it over cash or gold over a 10-year period. Yet Bitcoin's 64% crash in 2022 made gold bugs sceptical. This year, Bitcoin's prices rebounded around 110% as traders bet the US Securities and Exchange Commission may approve ETFs that invest directly in the coin. A sea change is underway in gold sentiment, says Barry Dawes from Martin Place Securities. He claims it's time to aggressively add to your holdings, saying the charts are showing small gold stocks are now bottoming and turning higher. As for the bigger name stocks, well, the world's largest gold mining corporation, Newmont Mining, is listed on the ASX and on the US S&P 500. It's listed, of course, here following its recent acquisition of Newcrest Mining. It tanked on debut on the ASX due to falling gold prices, but recently it started to look alluring to brokers. Macquarie has initiated its coverage of the stock and says that the miner provides a truly diversified, leveraged exposure to gold. Meanwhile, of the brokerages that cover Northern Star, only Macquarie has an outperform with a price target of $15. Another gold player, Regis Resources, well, four of the six firms that cover it favour the stock, except for Citi, which has a sell, and UBS, which rates it neutral. And lastly, as seen on this chart from FN Arena, analysts are more mixed on the outlook for Evolution Mining. The outlook for any gold stock, of course, relies on whether or not the precious metal maintains or loses its recent luster. That is your IG macro intelligence for this week. We'll see you next week.